guys, it's Ryan with AIInsiderTips.com, and in this video, I'm going to be continuing my weekly series where I cover the best free AI tools in 2024 and beyond. And as you guys know, there is no shortage of free AI tools out there. So the goal of this video series is to cover tools that are not only valuable and provide value, but also have real world application, whether it's for your business, your personal use, or whatever you want to use these AI tools for. So before I dive into the free tool this week, which is Opus Clip, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel at AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that. As I spend hours trying to put together these useful videos for you guys on various topics uh, that cover the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So diving back into Opus Clip, if you guys haven't already heard of this tool, um, this is a very popular or revolutionary tool, honestly, that takes long form video content and then chops it up into the short form social clips. So what it does is it explains it right here on the homepage is if you give it a long form video, it uses AI to not only find the most viral clips within that long form video, it auto frames it into a vertical format, which is optimized for mobile. And as you guys know, that's best practice for TikTok, uh, LinkedIn, maybe now these days, YouTube shorts, uh, Instagram reels. And it also adds these engaging sub captions. So uh, it lights up. It just tries to keep people engaged with these short clips. Um, so if I scroll down here, you'll see who's all using this tool, some really big names. Um, and these are just some examples. You guys have probably seen these types of videos floating around on the internet by now. Um, and I actually use this for all the shorts on my YouTube channel. So if you go to AI Insider Tips and click Shorts, all of these clips here that you see are 100% generated by Opus Clip. And in addition to that, they also have a schedule or scheduler function where I can schedule these, I can integrate my YouTube account, my TikTok account, and you can post it straight from the Opus Clip platform either right away or you can schedule it out, which is what I do to help automate my content deliverability. Um, or else I would burn out, guys, to be completely honest. So if I go back to Opus Clip here, um, I'm actually going to, in this example, show you what it looks like. So I'm going to use this YouTube video as an example. Um, this is actually a podcast that I run called Marketing Quacks. Um, this is one of the latest episodes. So I'm copying and pasting this YouTube link. I'm going to drop this link right here and click Get Free Clips. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically pull in from my account. So if you guys don't have an account, they do have a free plan. Um, and I'm actually going to show you that here first before I dive into more details, but they do have a free plan. So it's a freemium model. You get up to 60 processing minutes per month. Um, it does start at nine bucks a month on the month to month plan. I'm actually on the $19 a month plan because um, I use it so much for all my long form content and distribution. Um, but you guys can do whatever you want. If you're going to use this type of content regularly, I would suggest trying it for at least a month for 19 bucks and just see what happens. So that's what the pricing looks like. Now, if I come back to my example here, I gave it the YouTube video link. And so it's processing it right here. And here's what you can do. This is what it looks like. So there's all these different caption presets. You can create your own template if you want. Um, I don't have one, but you can just go back to the presets. Uh, you can use what's called the karaoke, which is a popular one. I actually use what's called Think Media. I like this one, and that's what a lot of my short form content looks like. Um, there are other options here too. Alex Hermosi, if you guys have seen those videos, Mr. Beast. Um, I'm just going to do Think Media. Uh, you can add only caption without clipping. I just leave this off. I don't mess with it. I leave this on auto. You can do whatever you want here. It's still in beta mode. So I suggest leaving it on auto. Um, I would do the full, the full video. And that's what this is doing right here. Um, and here's the important part. So preferred clip length. So I like to do between 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds. And the reason for that is that YouTube shorts cannot exceed 60 seconds or they won't be in the shorts category. So that's the reason why I don't want these to exceed 60 seconds. You can topic filter by keywords if you want. I don't mess with any of this stuff. And then once you're done with that, you would click get clips in one click. And then it says fetching video. So depending on if you're a premium member or a free member, um, this will take longer if you're not on one of their paid plans. But since I'm on their paid plan, this does take about 16 minutes for this to process. So in a matter of about 15 to 20 minutes, you can get access to all of these short clips. So I already did it in this example. So if I go to my dashboard, I'm going to pull up what it looks like here. So here's the episode that I already did. So if I click this, this is what the interface looks like after it's done configuring and getting and getting you these clips. So 
This is what it looks like here. So again, I only wanted 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds. So what it is doing is it chopped up, I believe, a total of 20, looks like 23 total clips from one 30 minute podcast episode, which is really cool. And it also filters it by what it's called their virality score. And you'll see here, it says the likelihood that this video will go viral on short TikTok and reels. Um, and so it's even giving you a title, which is really cool. It's giving you grades on the hook, the flow, the engagement, and the trend. So it's giving you a score, um, telling you why it thinks the way it does for giving you that score. Um, and then you can play it on the left here just to, to watch it before just publishing. COVID changed a lot of things, but really I think the, the overall theme of what I'm seeing in marketing is People want authenticity more than anything. So really cool here. And what I do too, is you can download this in HD and you can save it just on your desktop. You can upload it organically into these platforms. Um, you can also edit the clip. So if you want to edit it, um, and if the start point's not good or the stop point's not good, you can change that in here. Um, you can change the design a little bit too if you want. You can add B-roll with stock, with stock video, uh, which is kind of cool. You can do auto emojis if you want to add emojis. Uh, you can do a screen overlay if you have a logo that you want to add for your business or whatever. Uh, but I don't really mess with any of this stuff, guys. I just, I'm too spread thin to worry about it, to be honest. Um, but what's also really cool here is there's an auto post and scheduler. So if you click that, you'll see here they have a title, they have a description, and then you can do the same for TikTok, Instagram Reels, LinkedIn. Um, this is really awesome because what you can do is you'll see I've connected my YouTube channel, AI Insider Tips. I've connected my TikTok account. I've connected my personal LinkedIn. Um, I don't really do much with Reels or Facebook, but you can do that if it applies to you. And what you can do is you can add a title here. You can add a description or tags. And the best part is you can actually pull up a new tab and use ChatGPT or Claude or whatever to help you generate titles and descriptions. So then what you can do is I would make it public. You can publish it on the spot or you can schedule it out, which is what I do. So you can schedule out a video a day, a video a week, whatever you want to do. And you would click publish. So that is why I like this tool a lot, guys. Not only is, does it do all the work for you by generating clips, is it auto schedules and auto posts from the platform. So it eliminates the hassle. It saves me hours and hours of work, which previously you'd have to go in and edit all this yourself, schedule it yourself, upload it organically, the whole nine yards. So that's it, guys. That's the free AI tool this week I wanna show you is called Opus Clip. Now, again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. If you found value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down so I know what to create for you guys in the near future. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, again, I would truly appreciate that. And I hope you all have a great day.